the background is creating a GANS battery. The GANS battery is the structure of the capacitor, but using what I told you yesterday in respect to the surface of the Earth, plasma outside, plasma inside, creating the heating or the current. How you make a plasma battery is very simple. You get a coil, you coil your system, you put a GANS of the same thing as you do, you put a GANS on a piece of paper, you wrap it around the coil, this is the GANS on it, and then what you can do, you can add an aluminium foil wrapping. You need a matter. The easiest one is the aluminium foil. You need a metal interface. And then you put a full coil, nano-coated coil, around it. And then you turn your wires as usual. And then what you do, you literally put this in a plastic container or whatever. You have yourself a plasma battery. This is no different, more or less, than the capacitor which you made. The only difference with your plasma batteries are these aluminum papers, aluminum sheets. You need a matter state conversion. So what you have, if I can go backwards, What you have is, I want to take more away. Okay. What you have is a nano coated winding here, and you have a nano coated plasma charge with aluminium foils creating your battery condition. These can give you one and a half to three volts, can give you sometimes up to half amp. So then you can put them in series or in parallel, then you create yourself a small continuous battery for your, what do you call it, uh, mobile phones or whatever. We are looking into this to make the new power generator away from the what you call a power unit. But with this, you cannot create a proper work. We are working on it in the background. We can indicate it and we teach you how you convert it as a new to a generator. So if you are producing, if you're looking for a small battery operation, which this thing will recharge itself, you might need to add a small capacitor at a point that when the battery is charging, when it's low, the capacitor compensates for it, or you balance between the two. If you look, into your, um, if you look into your um, mobile phones, there is a circuitry for this, there's a backup battery as part of your circuit capacitor, very small capacitor program is inside there. <coughs> so what do you do? This is what I told you, we teach you everything. There is nothing hidden. I have everything I need in my life to live. My knowledge is free for humanity. So you understand what you're doing. You can do everything yourself and develop it and market it. A coil. If you look at this, we used, you were making the capacitors this way. You, in your capacitors, you're putting a beam, and then you were rolling it with, uh, what do you call it, with a piece of uh, paper with a gans on it. This is your paper. The red is your gans. And then what you do, you add 
an aluminium foil here, where in your capacitors, you didn't put the aluminium foil. In your capacitors, all you did, I'm gonna do it back again. In your capacitors, what you did, uh, you only put now a coil on it. To make it a battery, you put aluminium foil, and then you add your coil, nano-coated coil. This is the difference between a capacitor and a battery. The battery itself is a capacitor. So you can start building long. These capacitors, if you can, if you can in a way connect the positive or the negative, and understand the way of doing it or make multiple of this. If we look at this like one, on the top looks like this. You can make what we did in the factory. Yesterday I looked at it, it's beautiful the way they made the, uh, the capacitor set in the factory. So instead of you have a capacitor unit here, you can do the same with your batteries. Make four of them and connect two in parallel and two sets in series, you have both your power and your current and the voltage. So it won't take most probably less than this space if you make it. You have yourself a three to six volt to nine volt batteries. And then add a stack of these to the stack of these. So you, anytime, if for example, the battery number one is working and is not producing enough. The battery two supports. If battery two doesn't support enough, the three or four comes. But at the same time, they continuously store. So in a way, you have eight system backup in multiple. You build yourself a small capacitor, resistor, costs you, I don't know, 10 cents. 